character are you playing? I'm playing Dana Lee. She's a girl you don't play with. You get what I'm saying? Dana Lee is currently gracing you with her presence. Dana Lee. And how did you come about this Dana Lee character? Well, how did I get in? You know what? She lives inside me. I ran into Mr. Tony Topaz, and he has a has this vision, and apparently, um, close to that vision, and uh, we have collaborated, and uh, we're making that vision come true. Tony was gracious enough to uh, let me join him on, uh, in producing this. So I'm actually choreographing the fight scenes and uh, doing wardrobe and hair, makeup was Liz. And I also contributed with casting. I have found my last female competitor. And we're gonna duke it out. I understand there's a story of uh, when you met with Topaz and um, how you almost didn't meet. Elaborate um, that. Well, you see, when I ran into Mr. Topaz, he was working with this production, casting, whatnot, fake people of Hollywood. Um, and I unfortunately had to work with him before. And a director that I had trusted, um, trusted them and sent me off on this wild goose chase. And uh, I, that's when I realized to never, ever, ever work with this company ever again. So I was like, A, B, see you later. <laughs> and uh, peace, I'm never going to work with you again. But actually, a friend of mine uh, called and said, hey, so do you want to audition for this film? And I read the synopsis. I'm like, okay, the, you know, it seems like a good story. So all right, you know, I mean, I'll go try it out. So I arrived at the casting, and these people were really casting this thing. And, and I was like, okay. I understand last time you sent people out on this thing, but like this, like they were actually casting a whole movie with a really intense storyline. And I could already see that they were doing a terrible job with the people that were arriving, et cetera, blah, blah, blah. Hello, I'm Teresa Jun Tao. And we're reading for Dr. Chi. Chi. Oh. May I ask you some questions about uh, how Dr. Chi feels about David? So unfortunately, Tony didn't know that he was, you know, because as a favor to his friend, that was helping with this movie, he was helping him out. So I kind of blacklisted Tony, like, like, yo, don't wanna, don't wanna work with anybody from here. It turns out, one of my homegirls, my maison fille, we like to speak French together. So I was hanging out with her and she uh, just turned up a conversation that she knew Tony and then I told her what I thought and then she told me that, oh, he's not really, you know, with them like that. And I was like, okay, okay. So, <clears throat> I decided to go back and actually reply to his emails and give him a phone call because before I just was too busy to do so. You get what I mean? <laughs> but I'm so glad that we're working together now. He has so much energy um, and he gets stuff done. You get what I mean? Like he's on his stuff. I mean, you can't take a bathroom break without Tony calling you with a new idea. You know, you can't do some dishes without Tony calling you with another new idea. So it's great working with him and uh, everything happens for a reason. Background on my martial arts experience. Well, I was born in the temple of Zelda. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> uh, in junior high, I took just about a month or two uh, to yellow belt of Taekwondo. But then I moved to Hollywood and um, I was booked. My first feature, I was booked as the lead female and I had to train in martial arts for those, those, those couple of months. And through that, I booked another feature where uh, I had to train for about two, almost two years, maybe a year and a half to two years with uh, these other Asian females that were very talented. And so we trained twice a week at least in the park, just blah, blah, blah. Muay Thai, you know, like bam, just elbows in the face and like, yeah. And um, so yeah, in the past couple of years, I've been training regularly and uh, I've been casted for a couple of martial arts shorts and commercials and, you know, get stuff done.
one of the most incredible uh, martial artists, Bruce Lee, that has impacted film and the rest of the world. Superstar, Superman, the one, the only, the immortal, Bruce Lee. He did a movie called Marlowe. And uh, so, uh, you know, I was Googling uh, these scenes that Tony was talking about, these scenes that he, he wanted to respectfully remake, you know, uh, because he was so inspired by these scenes before. So I look up Marlowe and Bruce Lee, he's in this, he's in this, you know, this turtleneck in his business suit, you know, just walks into the office with a debonair poise. And basically he threatens this guy in the office with his, martial arts skills and his tiger-like inner grr. He destroys this office and threatens this guy and he does it beautifully and uh, so gracefully. my best to remake and, and make a new version of this. Just, you know, just something new for you guys to check out. Something for the female representation, you know? Don't make me take off my hair. Thank you, Bruce Lee, for all your inspiration, and thank you, Tony, for all of me.